The FBI's Office of Professional Responsibility has recommended that former Deputy Director Andrew McCabe be fired from the Bureau for serious misconduct. According to news reports, the recommendation comes because McCabe authorized disclosing sensitive information to reporters, leaking illegally, and then lied to investigators about it when they asked. McCabe has already announced his retirement, which is set to take effect on Sunday. If he's fired before then, he could lose some of the benefits he is due from the federal government. Tax, tax dollars. Joe DeGeneva is a former U.S. attorney for the District of Columbia, and he joins us tonight. Uh, Joe, thanks for coming on. So I just wanted to, I, I want to clear the air on this specific question. I'm not an expert. I'm watching that lady in the afternoons over at MSNBC scream about how this is immoral to punish this guy. Has he done something worth punishment, do you think? Uh, he's done a number of things worth punishment, including um, careening through obstruction of justice by, from the beginning of the Trump campaign, doing everything he could to exonerate Hillary Clinton in the email server case corruptly. And then, if Hillary didn't win the presidency, to figure out a way to falsely claim that Donald Trump had committed a crime, even though that's not what he's being fired for. That's certainly ultimately what he should be assigned responsibility for. He, he should be fired. He should have been fired a long time ago. And if he loses some of his benefits, that's good for the country. It's the least that can be done to him. What are the consequences of having high-level law enforcement officers who have the power of life and death over the rest of us lying, caught lying? What does that mean for us? It means that the system of equal justice has been rent asunder by the conduct of James Comey, America's best-known dirty cop, uh, Andrew McCabe, and others, including senior Obama administration Justice Department officials. This is a moment in history that has sullied the reputation of the FBI and the Department of Justice, and deservedly so. Every one of these people should be put in a wanted poster at a post office, even though they may never be arrested. What they have done to the department and the FBI is undermine the confidence of the American people in federal law enforcement. It is disgraceful, and it all stems from their animus toward President Trump. It is despicable. So the media are supposed to be watchdogs, ever vigilant against the abuse of power. This would be a profound abuse of power, if true. Why are they making excuses for it, do you think? They're making excuses for it because they, like Comey and McCabe and the senior Obama DOJ people, hate Donald Trump. And they believe that anything, including violating every known standard of federal law enforcement, is justified to either keep him from office or, if elected, take him out of office. It is one of the worst moments in, Amer in the history of American law enforcement, and the shame is on Comey and everybody associated with it. So as a procedural matter, if an FBI official is caught lying to internal investigators, to their IG or who, who, whatever department within the bureau did the investigation, isn't that just prima facie cause for firing right there? It is, and it's also a violation of the false statement federal statute, and it's a crime. Huh, because it's a crime for you or me to lie to the FBI, correct? It is indeed, and it's a, it's a crime for Mr. McCabe to do so. And so Mike Flynn has seen his life destroyed because he lied to the FBI, supposedly he pled to it. McCabe lies to the FBI, and what's her name over at MSNBC screams about how he might be punished for it. Unbelievable. The, 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 the people in the media have given up on being objective or caring about anything than hating Trump. Shame on them. Yeah, I mean, rule of law, kind of bigger than Trump, I would say. Anyway, Joe, thank you. Great to see you. My pleasure.